Sean Watson here at the opening, uh, committed to Clemson, one of the top quarterbacks in the country. Sean, if you could, just you know, it's day four. Uh, tell us a little bit about your experience uh, out here at the opening. Uh, it's been great. Um, first came in, um, you know, we're getting to meet the guys, and then we had the first practice. Um, we had a little accuracy drill we were going through, so that was pretty cool. And then the next day we woke up, you know, 4 30 in the morning to run and work out. And that was a big surprise for me because I, I never you know, actually got to work that hard, so I know. Uh, for a fact, when we get to the next level, I don't have to work even harder. But uh, it's been great learning a lot of new things, meeting new um, the college guys and the NFL guys, and you know, getting their, their thoughts and what they've been through. So I'm going to take it back to my school. With all the, the great players out here, it, it seems like some of these guys have been able to raise their game even more than they knew they could. Is that something you've been experiencing? Yes, uh, I know my game has uh, you know, higher levels and higher standards, and you know, I can raise it up to another level, actually. And that's what I've been trying to do, pick up the little small things and techniques and, uh, you know, take it back and learn and, you know, make my game even better. Uh, since Atlanta, what was the one thing that they told you you really need to work on mechanically? Uh, just a little bit on my feet and my release and uh, just being a little more accuracy, uh, accurate with my passes and that's what I've been working on. And uh, coming here, I've been, you know, more accurate and, you know, better with my feet. Still have to pick up on a little few things, but it's been going good. Gotcha. Uh, yesterday, we asked Trent Dilfer who was the most college-ready quarterback uh, at the Elite 11, and, and he thought about it, and he eventually chose uh, you over Kyle Allen uh, because of your mobility. What, what does that mean to you to get an endorsement like that from Dilfer? That means a lot. That I have a lot of potential, and uh, you know I'm you know, prepared to, at the next level. But uh, you know you can't ever you know, get the big head or anything. So that, that's a big you know, compliment for me and for coming from him. Uh, it's very big, and you know I, I have a lot to prove, and you know I can you know, work on my game before I get to Clemson and I have an opportunity to play early. Uh, in the media session we had with Dover, he was talking about um, the, the importance of keeping that back leg bent and not releasing it too early. Uh, how have you worked on that uh, since Atlanta? Uh, I worked a lot, um, especially here. They've been teaching me up as uh, I've been throwing and going, and um, that's what I've been uh, doing for you know, the last four days. And, uh, you know, I've been trying to, whatever they tell me, I do. So, you know, I listen to the coaches and try to make myself better. The, as the head of the Clemson class, I know you're doing a lot of recruiting for the Tigers uh, when you can. Uh, took that, what, short visit to Auburn a while back, but it, it then said, you know, that was nothing and you're still fully committed to Clemson, correct? Right. I am. Uh, Tay Scott here, Artavis out of uh, Tampa, looks like he's going to announce. Uh, are you expecting Clemson to pick him up? Uh, I think so. I have confidence in my school and, uh, you know, myself. and. Uh, hopefully he chooses Clemson to come, you know, play with me and the rest of the guys and, you know, make Clemson, you know, national champs one day and, you know, do great things there. So, you know, I can't really say it's, it's his choice and I never pressure him. I talk to him, you know, friendly talk during tests and check on him, see how he's doing, but nothing, you know, to convince him to, you know, come to Clemson. So, it's all on him. What are the one or two things that you tell other recruits about Clemson when you're trying to get him to come with you? Uh, I don't think I say just come visit, you know. Uh, you know, all you got to do is come visit and come to the shows itself. You know, I don't get into, oh, uh, we have the best offense or the best, uh, you know, OC or, you know, come to this and that. You know, I just say come visit and check it out. That's all I want you to do. Sean Watson from Lead 11 in the opening. Thank you.